I'm chasing them, guys. Man, every time I gain ground, he just takes off. I don't even think my net's big enough. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm just rigging up for crappie. I got one rig with the bobber and then one rig for bottom. So this stuff is key right here. It's just a garlic chartreuse dye. Just dip your tail in it. Chartreuse tail. And there we go guys. Rig the bobber about two feet and just try different depths. about this too because they can hold 3700 boxes. I'm gonna put my flippers on and get fishing. Well finally on the water guys. This is my wife following me. Come back here and try around these docks. One more cast with the bobber and then I'm gonna go deep. Got my other rod. Uh, this one does not have a bobber. Let's see if we can get down a little deeper. There we go, guys. What do we got? in the mouth. Everybody's fishing the beds, but I just had a feeling there'd be some fish out here. I was gonna keep them, but... Ooh, look at something got in his head right there. He's got a sore. Thank you, Lord. Check the water temperature. Check this little thing on a digital thermometer. You just aim it at the surface of the water and it measures the temperature. It's a pretty cool little gadget. So I'm aiming at my skin and saying my hands 89 degrees. So let's aim it at the water. 62.9. Let's get down real low. 62.3 pretty accurate so this point is straight up in the sky what's what's that gonna say well it's negative 27 oh no I'm cold I'm out of here I'm gonna go ahead and use this jig that I made you want to see the video on me tying this jig it's really easy anybody can do it the video is in my playlist I like the way I can just turn this with my flippers okay Lord I could use a couple crappie there we go little fighter okay so that I'm gonna note right now that fish was about 30 feet out probably about 12 13 feet of water thank you
you, Lord. Oh, a nice crappie. Strong fish. So you guys can see he ate that, uh, Nice little, nice slab. Just let him go. Pretty fish. Down to the depths he goes. Well, you guys want a good pair of pliers? These pliers right here, they got braid cutters, they got a spirit ring, um, they're lightweight, just really good quality pliers and they're cheap. Fish are moving out of the deep water up into this bay. Got something big here, guys. Man, that's a good fighting fish. This fish is towing me. Ah, it's only four pound test, he's gonna spool me. I might have to go after him. I'm chasing him. This is what I fish for. I'm trying to slowly tire him out with this little rod. I think the way it's staying down, it's either a big catfish or a carp, because a wiper, this isn't, this isn't a wiper fight. Uh, wipers will come out just like a bass. I think any more pressure, I'll straighten the hook. Just help me get this fish in the net, Lord. I just want to see what it is. But you gotta remember guys, I, I would love to put some heat on this fish, but I've only got four pound test. This is Berkeley Nanofill, six pound braid with a four pound fluorocarbon leader set up for crappie fishing. Is he gonna break off or is he gonna bend the hook? He's like, nah, B, I ain't done with you yet. This is what I live for. There's some bubbles he's burping up. I'm putting some heat on him. My arm is cramping up, I'm thirsty. You guys are probably thinking, Steve, just, just put some drag and some heat on them but I promise you guys this is a little crappie jig uh, 1 16th ounce and I got like I said a four pound fluorocarbon leader took me for a little sleigh ride okay I see it I see it I see it I'm gonna do it all right I'm gonna try to put some s solid pressure on them and just pray oh, I got the pan fish net today guys I didn't know I was gonna hook into a mondo mondo slouch donkey belly shirt Hashtag ripping lips, OB. Belly shirt, this is a belly shirt fish. Can we get this net? No, don't go that way. So you guys see that's hooked in them. Oh my goodness guys look at that. Look at look at that hook. Can you guys see that? Look at that jig hook. Let's go fish lips. Awesome. Thank you dude. You made my day. I don't care if you're a carp. That carp was a lot of fun. So what's your guys' favorite jig color for crappie? I've got two colors that are my favorite. One is that is a sparkle black and blue with a gold head that I tie myself. And my second favorite color, or probably the color that I've caught the most fish on is a, is an olive green and white tail. Right here, this is so nice. It's just so refreshing after this whole quarantine thing. 
you guys get an opportunity get outdoors it's a it's just a good stress reliever for you and your family and guys could you ask for a more beautiful evening oh and a fish Got a beautiful sunset and got me another fish. Oh, and he got off. Well, that's okay. That's why they used to call them paper mouths. Because they have a real soft mouth. You can't put a lot of pressure on them. There we go, guys. Got a head shake like a crop. Yeah, nice little slab here. In the net. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, this turned out to be a fun little adventure. Let's leave him in the water because I want to release him. He's right up next to that that tree. Nice little crappie. Nice and he wanted that. He choked that jig. There we go. Nice little crappie. And there he goes. So this is what that last one hit. I've got the bobber rigged about two feet and I'm just casting up next to the stick ups. 